Alright, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well a Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly general tar reading May 11th to May 17th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, private reading with me, uh, checking out the description. Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So without further ado, uh, let's move to the Scorpio reading here for the week. The first card which marks the topic of our Scorpio week, that is to be the world. Followed by the next one which stands as the uh, energies which is feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the hangman. Quite of, a, um, quite of an unusual thing here. Right, so let's see where it, where it leads then. Um, next one, which stands for uh, the challenges that we'll have to overcome, we do have the Queen of Cups, followed by the uh, fourth card, which represents the gifts and the blessings uh, that we get to enjoy. That will be the uh, Nine of Swords. Uh, then it is the impression that we are leaving into the people around that is going to be the Tower. So it will be it will be quite of an unusual one uh, I, I mean week and the last one which stands for the guidance the tarot is offering uh, that is to be the page of cups so those six cards um I, it will be quite of an unusual week uh, to be honest so um With the first two, uh, we do have the energies <clears throat> of the hangman. And uh, hangman as an energy, it pretty much blocks everything of a happening. But because we do have the world as a situation, in this particular case, those energies are most likely going to block a new opportunities to happen. Uh, for the reason being is that we do, we are going to need a time to finish and finalize things that are currently ongoing into our lives. And uh, for one or another reason, maybe the universe has its finger in it, uh, depriving us from a, you know, new enterprises and, and new stuff to deal with. So you do, so we do have the time to actually get the job done or get the things right around in terms of our career or in terms of our relationship. But the hangman into, um, in regards to energies, it does have also an, another trait. And it pretty much points to, diff, to obtaining a different understanding, especially uh, when it comes to the core of our problems and the core of our issues, in a sense of that <clears throat> the lack of resolution up until now is because we did not understood the matter as the matter truly were. And uh, this week, that understanding or rather like that per perception or perspective, if you will, is going to start residing deeper and deeper into our mind. And therefore, once we look at the situation we are, uh, that we are struggling with or that we want to develop at that particular case, uh, at that particular time, uh, we're going to see it in a very different light and it will be much more manageable than before, which... Uh, leads us to the situation itself and that is the situation of the world card and uh, as we do have the hangman uh, the world card points the things are as they are i mean as we do have the hangman into a uh, energies the world card points the things are as they are and we get to do the the most or the best out of it rather than to try to change its course of narration so what i mean here and i have to explain it with examples is that say that you have initiated a separation uh, there is no going back from it so you keep up going with the narration or for example a divorce has been initiated or example you have initiated a um a reconciliation or for example you have started working on a project there is no going back until you finish it here so uh, it's pretty much uh, with those two cards and especially with the world whatever has been initiated at the start of the week or very soon beforehand uh, it needs and, and will be completed to its full extent 
at the end of the day. And only then after that thing is completed in this particular field, uh, one, one can hope for a, um, say a, uh, a new horizons to explore or new opportunities to conquer or new opportunities to kind of take on, you know, new challenges to conquer and uh, so on and so forth. Now, important thing uh, throughout the week though, is to be um, kind of like open with yourself in a sense of that, uh, although, you know, for at certain points, one understands very well what a situation is. And if that situation is not very fortunate for them, one is trying to get delusional, if you will, to convince oneself that it's not as bad as it is, or it's not as good as it is. Uh, Cause there are some sort of, you know, uh, some, some kind of a standpoints like that when people think that it's way too good to be true. Here with the world card, it's pretty much everything is clear. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever you see, that's that's the reality and you got to cope with it. Either if that reality is bitter or either if that reality is a sweet reality. And uh, once again, it has to be brought to its, uh, to its very end. Uh, because whatever um, thing is... Um, Forced throughout the week, it's, it kind of leads to a certain stage of completion of your behalf, I mean. So what is going to be the challenge here? Uh, we do have a, a Queen of Cups as a, um, as a challenge, so that is an individual. So these people, they are very emotionally attached to us. And um, it's just a drama queen, okay? So they are uh, emotionally attached to us and they are over-exaggerating of everything that is going on around us especially about the fact that throughout the week not much is gonna move either in either in business or either in career in new directions and, and that is uh, could be your um, your mother for example seeing you stumbling into one place that could be your business partner as well that it is um, scraping down his or her nerves uh, seeing that the business is not moving forward according to her or his expectations, but the thing with the uh, Queen of uh, with the Queen of Cups is that these people they are capable to provide a huge emotional support of ours, and that's why we have to be the challenge for us as a Scorpio is going to be a bit uh, uh, that that we have to address you know the distortion of their behavior. Uh, with in a gentle fashion because they are very touchy and uh, we may inflict more emotional damage than actually we can convince them into uh, what needs to be done at that particular uh, at that particular point and that we have to focus on the matter rather than to make it um, rather than to make a drama out of it. So moving next, uh, we are having the gifts and the blessings that we get to enjoy. And that is to be the gift and the blessing of uh, the Nine of Swords. And uh, with the Nine of Swords, things are not going to be as bad as we think they are. Okay, uh, that is uh, if we are fighting against or trying to sort out something that we think that is going to have a negative impact or negative circumstances uh, or consequences, I'm sorry, those consequences are not going to be as bad as we think they are, even on top of even more than that, they could be actually rather favorable coming into our uh, coming, in, coming into our aid. Um, uh, say, you know, you're going through a divorce as we can see, or divorce has been initiated, as we can see with the first card, that divorce cannot be avoided. You may think that at the end of this divorce, you are to be ruined but that's not going to be the case so here with the nine of swords apart from that that we are going to have to face our fears throughout the week that we that we cannot avoid you know whatever situation we are standing against or we can't escape it we also are to um again enjoy the fact that uh, at the end of the day we do have an expression in our country but it's not gonna make a, a sense uh, to you probably guys but pretty much the expression is that whenever uh, they try to gouge out my ears actually they are fixing my um, eyelashes so it's uh, it's pretty much there the, the the situation is making us a favor rather than to deprive us 
Uh, next one, it will be the impression that uh, we are living into the people around, that is to be the tower card and it is kind of an awkward card into this narrative and in that particular spot. I uh, Pretty much people are going to see us as a, uh, a person who is completely rearranging their environment and their life and actually and as well is addressing the situation with maneuvers and with the uh, attitude or, or, or performance i can't find the right word here the people have not so as do beforehand so they are going to see the other side of us that they have never saw before and uh, that will uh, pretty much shock them so people are going to see us shocking and they ain't going to believe what it is happening so if someone had a really bad um impression of us that impression can change here throughout the week or if someone had a good impression that good impression can change throughout the week as well either into better or worse but the impression of the people around those that matter i mean it's not going to be the same after they see you tackling with those really important stuff that are happening because with the um hangman and the world there at the first positions these things are definitely important and they need to be brought to bear and uh, the last card that we do have it is uh, the guidance that Tsaru is offering so that is to be the page of cups and with the page of cups uh, we need to find within ourselves as a guidance wise um, other strengths or rather like the drive to emotionally connect with our endeavors and with the people around as well i mean with those that matter again because uh, that week once we see that uh, not everything depends on us and once we see that at the end of the day whatever we, we start we have to brought to bear that will force us to make some sort of a, a, a reassessment of ourselves in the sense of that uh, we are to change positions um, toward life in general, which will allow us to cope with a, a rapidly, a rapidly approaching change. Yes, I mean, that card as a guidance is a, a sign that uh, we are to um, enter into a, a state of transformation or a change that it is yet looming on the horizon, but nonetheless, the preparations for it have became, uh, have, uh, has begun. And the very first step is to sort out the current things that are ongoing, because we want to enter it, bringing no issues from the past. So we do have much more space to work with what is to come in the future. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, weekly general tarot reading, a pretty broad one. So hopefully it does make sense to you. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from where you can purchase such and stay safe now, guys. And hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.